Africa is home to one of the deadliest wars in modern history, claiming a staggering 5.4 million victims. So today I'm gonna recreate in the mega hit strategy game Hearts of Iron 4. All right, look at that. We actually freed this guy. That's huge. That's an extra division we can use right now. Taking place in 2000, we are no longer in the vanilla game, but rather the Millennium Dawn mod. The issue with that, of course, is people don't like to die anymore. So I'll be testing all sorts of weapons from cast fleets to ICBMs and even nukes to find out which ones absolutely devastate my enemies. But first, I have to make sure my Congo DR doesn't die. I also want to give a big thanks to World Tanks for sponsoring this video. I'm going to need a lot more than these militias, and uh, the game hasn't given me too much to work with. In fact, my political power gain's only gone down. Can't even do light industry investments, too, because I'm, I'm not at peace. So no free factories for us, and we don't even have a factory. Oh, fuck off. To kick off the genocide, I wanted to assemble the largest cast fleet Africa had ever seen. Which, to be fair, didn't have to be that big. The problem was I now had a new DLC that I neglected buying for about three months, and with it came an arms market that blew some major ass. Yeah, they only have like 20 planes in storage of light fires. They have no casts. Is this like the amount I buy? What is this? I'm assuming. Oh, right. I don't have SIF factories to buy nothing. The whole front line's starting to collapse too. This is great. I'm really loving the game right now. Look what we're doing. We're just letting the Ugandans have a field day. Hold on, they might have been too aggressive. <laughs> That's what you get. Should have been that aggressive, buddy. You're already losing men. I am still top dog in the Congo. You're a nobody little rat. All your three widths. They're gone. What? What? Don't you just... You just walked out of there. These people are actual spedatrons. Guys, you got three planes. I bought the wrong ones so they don't even bomb. Oh, you're gonna walk off? I don't mind. Go. See that division in hell. Wait, why'd you win already? You weren't supposed to win that fat. Oh my god. They won in like two microseconds. Hiya! No, this one. Yeah! Look at that. One bombing damage. Oof! It became pretty clear by now that this cast fleet idea was not gonna work very well. After 10 months, we only managed to collect 6 of them, which meant getting a single air wing would take like 20 years. Yeah, no. So instead of worrying about that, I decided it would be best to just go on the offensive and encircle their divisions in my horde of kids. Oh, we have child soldiers? Woohoo! Why are the decisions to demobilize them? What? Looks like Rwanda stopped giving a fuck. I will take this. This will increase my GDP after all. All right, thanks for the extra territory. I don't know what the fuck you were doing right there. See, look at that. Our, our first offensive, we took back this entire state. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I'm telling you, the Rwandans are fucking idiots. Oh, look. Why are they feeding me this so much? They're just feeding me these divisions. They're at 38,000 to 5,000. See, we're getting, we're getting a little faster, but... At the same time, I've also taken half their land. Like, I'm really right at Rwanda's doorstep already. This is- this is ridiculous. Look, these divisions are still alive. Oh, look, he's mad! He's mad I'm gonna liberate his friend. When are these guys gonna circle, like, 1998? We're gonna save them after, like, three years of encirclement. This is the saddest thing I've ever seen. Look, they're free. <laughs> Welcome back, I was expecting you guys would die, but you made it. My offensive, turns out, was successful. Too successful. The kids had conquered them so fast that I was on the doorstep of waiting the Civil War before I even realized it. And I hadn't even killed 100k of the 5.4 million soldiers I needed yet. Look at- uh, look, look, it just- it's just gonna get even more brutal. Do they even know what they're doing? They're just leaving their divisions right there. Oh, ooh, what is this? Blackwater. Oh, I did. Capital camping slob. Okay, we got- we're increasing our child soldier count. That's huge. More child soldiers than we've ever seen before. When even the children join you, it's how you know you're on the right side of history. All right, capital and circle, they have no more supply, theoretically. They're running away like little wussies. Look, I literally subdued the entire enemy faction. We haven't even lost 100k on both sides yet. I need 5.3 million more deaths. You've lost almost everybody. You've lost almost everybody. You've lost almost everybody. You've lost almost everybody. I only had to use 56k to do this. I'm I'm just built different. All right, plane count. Let's get a plane count. 31. They actually lost a few. I don't know how they're killing any, but they seem. It seems like they're able to kill them. They're like throwing rocks in the sky and they're getting into the the, the jet turbines and they're clogging them. I thought this would be funny because I'm just mass slaughtering, but they're making it impossible to do that. They're not trained divisions. I'm losing all my money because I'm at war. I can't do half my focus tree because I'm at war. You know what? Let's not research whatever I just tried to research. We got to start a ballistic missile campaign. It's time. I, I need to move on from the planes. Why are you so strong? Oh, you're an Aegis. That's why. Get the planes over him. Show him who the boss is. Uh, housing bubble. 
We have houses? I'm literally just speedrunning to fascism right now. It's all I can do. All right, basically you've subjugated everybody. Look at it. Everybody's just down to their own core capital province. Everybody, it's just, it's over. Look at this beautiful Congo DR. God damn, this country's expensive and we make nothing as well. I don't know why. Law, idea, and tech impact on all tax income. Mine is 83%. Oh my god. 40% unemployment rate. That might be part of the problem. Oh my god, they trained somebody. We actually have to monitor that now. Holy shit, they actually are trying. Get out of here. It's 98 and it's red. Uh, whole army versus one division. Look, we can't win. And with planes. Don't forget that. Planes as well. Still loose. I also love how in that one tile right there, they have... Over half the income I do in all of this land. Isn't that great? Look at that. That's what 40% unemployment rate does to a motherfucker. All right, everybody's dead now. In the four years of the war, of beginning of the game, they've lost 169k, I've lost 30k. So, a little over 180k. 200,000 of the... We have still 5.2 million to go. Oh my god. I'm gonna be here forever. It was obvious at this point there was no way I would get over 5 million casualties from this war alone. I would have to expand the war to the entirety of Africa if I wanted to achieve such a goal. But... As a democratic republic, I can really just invade anyone around me. However, no one said I couldn't just invade myself. All right, I'm done with this. Ready? Did they get everything? They got everything in the country. Oh, we're going back to the auto save. Now it won't screw me over. I gotta speed run this before they get bad ideas and end this. Wait, we're not at war with them anymore. Oh, what the fuck? Well, I guess that's the end of the Second Congo Civil War. Oh my god, look where their capital is. Way across the fucking land. Uh, I- These Congo Civil Wars, man, I've fought too many of them lately. <laughs> Why? Why do you do this to me? My, yeah, my, my economy isn't bad enough. Yeah, thank you. I- I really appreciate that. No, here. Stop it. Oh my god, this fucking bitch. Go- No. Here! Jesus Christ. Oh, you hold a student rally? I don't care. You you act like you have any chance of an election. No, they uh, got Uganda and Rwanda, fucker. Also love how they have way more men than me as well. Like, how do they have so much men? You probably constantly your equipment because you're a fucking cheater. Back to being cornered in this garbage hole. Lack of fuel penalties. There's the cheats! Oh, you fuckers going- Oh, there's no cheats. You're just bad. Uh-huh. Want to say that again when it's right in front of your fucking face? Who's the dumb one now? This civil war I thought would be quick, quickly made a turn for the worst. I didn't even realize I turned my own super children against me for one. But even worse, they also had an infinite supply of oil from La La Land, which made it super unfair. Luckily for us though, Congo is a huge land, which made it super easy for us to encircle their spread out divisions. Why don't you go hack out of this one, big boy? There, now your little bullshit AI advantage is gone. I'm so glad I get to fight this thing, and I get no chance. Oh, I do. Yes. Ha ha! I get one too. Let's see how you like it. All right, got my Matrix unit. Let's see how we have fun here. Here's the Matrix unit. Look! Look! This is what happens. Now you can't win. See? I can do it too. You should not have invited this type of play into the game. Now look. Look what you have fucking created for all of us. Now he's nothing. He's a piece of shit now. <laughs> we gained another 46k in that war. That wasn't even worth it. So we're at about 240k now. <laughs> yes, finally. Holy shit. Galu. Now, before we continue the next chapter of our Nuclear Congo Saga, let me talk about today's sponsor, World of Tanks. World of Tanks is a free-to-play game with millions of players who are ready to brawl with you. There are over 800 tanks to play with in multiple tech trees, so there's always a tank that suits your playstyle. Whether you are the type to plunge straight in Blitzkrieg style or snipe your enemies from afar, Wargaming 2's arsenal has you covered. Each tank can also be customized with different equipment consumables, providing several strategies to play even a single tank. Not to mention there are 40 different battlefields currently in the game, each varying from cold snowy tundras to giant urban sprawls to even hot scorching deserts. As someone who's played World Tanks for over 10 years now, I can assure you that this game was definitely one of my favorites as a child, and it's only ever gotten crazier with more content since then. Play World Tanks today for free, and if you're a noob, please use the link in my description with code COMBAT. You'll receive a Chromo B Tier 6 Premium Tank, a Tiger 131 T78 and Type 64 as 3 Tier 6 rentals for 10 battles each, 7 days of premium, and 250,000 credits. Thank you to Wargaming for sponsoring today's video. With the end of the Second Congo Civil War came a new beginning for the land. 
Well, sort of. Our country was still in ruins with an economy that sucked tremendous amounts and technology dating back to your mom's time. Oh, so we're defaulting. Look, it might have been a bad first five years, but we're gonna come back and we're gonna slaughter the entire population of Africa. This video is gonna be a success. I'm back in the game. There we go. IMF saves us. Huge stuff. No more financial collapses. Hey, France bailout. Let's just... Everyone's gonna give us bailouts because we're the Congo. Why not? Look, that's... This is a manageable economy now. Look at this. All of this in the course of like a few months. I love how we're still conscripting child soldiers too. It's civil war's over, but you know what? We kept them because they're the heroes of this nation. If there were no such children here, we would have lost. We would have lost our lives. All right, we got green money. Thanks to our office sector. We have green money, guys. So luckily, the economy was a quick fix this time. Now we just had to modernize the country to begin our grand missile campaign. Well, that was until this happened. Oh shit, I gotta right click that. Oh, there we go. There's France again. Uh, hi. <laughs> Why don't you just puppet me already if you're such a douche? Please don't puppet me. Oh, we're a satellite now. Oh wait, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, you're giving me equipment. Thank you. Yo, why am I running out of oil all of a sudden? Oh, you canceled my trade, you cocksucking bitch. And you stole a mill factory. You are a bitch, man. This is the third game in a row that France has fucking meddled with me. Getting puppeted was a shocking and insulting move by the French. Those damn French pig. If I wanted any chance to complete my genocide, I needed a way to escape the baguette prison cell that I was restrained in. And luckily, I had connections with just the right people to give me the quickest escape I could dream of. Oh my god, look, the junta's large enough to overthrow the government. Just a test. What happens? My side is not a part of France, but it is at war with France. It is not at war with France. So wait, what would happen if I just kept going with this? Can I just get it, get out of France this way? Guys, are you loving this 5th Congo Civil War gameplay? Are you enjoying the fact that I'm fighting in a 5th Congo Civil War right now? We're gonna make more heroes out of our youth. How many are in the army right now? How many? 14,000 more than there've ever been. Almost half the army is currently owned by children. No one's ever seen those numbers before. Oh my god, fuck off, you bitch. Stop hiring mercenaries. You're a fucking Civil War tag. Stop it. Okay, 24, 25k. We'll count it 25k. So, 265k in this godforsaken game. Now that the Congo was finally free from the baguette jail, I needed to go to war with the closest manpower pools, being Ethiopia, Angola, and Nigeria. Angola was right on her border, so I could fight them anytime I wanted. But the other two were blocked by small, insignificant shithole countries, which I would need to kill first. So that's why I dedicated my time to. Hey, we can expand laboratories at least. Yes. That's a weird flag, by the way. I've never seen that flag before. Come here. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I'll make sure nobody hates me, right? Okay, everybody loves me still. We can go to war with Kenya. Oh, look at this. Tank with no tanks. Hiya. All right, yeah. That's going to be an encirclement, most likely. I think that's their whole army trapped, right? Three to five divisions is four trapped, yeah. It's everything. Fast growth, too, because you want I want that productivity boost to go up. And hopefully... Why is my friend trying to watch me play, bro? You know, I, I'll accept them. Why not? You have an Aegis Light unit as well. Oh, fuck off. Put traits on your generals. He says, fuck off. I ain't doing your tryhard strat. This is taking for- Oh, look, another war goal. Nice. How are you doing? Okay, yeah, you're being released, bub. Not even the spy can save that one. All right, we're here. Go to war. Look at this. They're already cut off, by the way. No supplies for you. Oh, you are dead. Quickest KO of the century. Oh, my. Look at the supply of that, man. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. What is that? Oh, he's going to take our capital, guys. It's it's GG. It's over. Look, this, these kids are getting out of control. We just, let's catch them. Look, now you're stranded by Angola. Get out of here. No more of you. Yeah, we're making some progress now. There we go. What are you looking like? You have just a bunch of generic garbage. You have more trucks than I ever will see, though, so that's cool. But you know what I have? You have that I want? I want that... Oi! Well, that's just a circle everything. There's only, like, 5,000 to kill here, sadly, but uh, it's better than nothing, I guess. <laughs> All right, I'll give you, like, a week to train a mercenary. Because, I honestly, I want more kills than that. What did I even get here? Did I even lose a single man? Let's see. I lost two people. Fuck. All right, so you know how when I occupy, they resist. It's impossible to keep them under control. What if I take this? You can take that. Ah, uh, I love the- I already love these borders. These are great borders, by the way. This is- You've never seen prettier borders than that. Alright, good news. This one little tile is already putting me out of weapons. I already have a deficit of all equipment. I should just puppet this, shouldn't I have? Because now- there's resistance building like there's no tomorrow, no matter what I do. How are you actually fucking me over in one- One state? I- I just- I need to release Gavin, but I- 
Let me just release your half of Gavin real quick so we don't have problems. I should have done this in the first place. Oh, you're not allowed, apparently. Why? I guess I'll have to annex them and then release them. <laughs> oh, so it looks like the AI changed my production queue in an hour. I must have accidentally unpaused the game while being tagged, and all of a sudden, we're flying everywhere. Why would you geek up? What? is that the, the devs did a really good job coding this ai it's really smart it's not changed yet. i would love to see how they would fund that division where they would even get any of that from and yeah i also need to figure out there's like nuclear policy stuff here i need to figure out how this stuff works okay it looks like this i just need to build a nuclear reactor we obviously have to build in the depths of hell so down here where like nobody lives oh four million live there ain't no way you know what okay we'll just have to pollute Uganda. And then we can start our secret nuclear program as the Congo. Oh my god, I forgot to re-justify on Cameroon earlier. I also need to increase this death tally of 314,000. That's so small. Oh, it says plus 100 subscribers on my alarm clock. You're the ones who caused those Hong Kongs. Thank you for that. Good job. Yeah. See, our army's getting stronger now. I do have bigger templates this this war, but look at this. Our army's finally winning battles. We don't need to rely on mercenaries to win them. All right, annex Congo. Look, I don't need the mercenaries to see. Oh, maybe I do need the mercenaries to siege that. See, look, these mercenaries can't stop me anymore. Yeah, that's right. The rest of my divisions are actually competent now. Now we got enough cities. We're gonna, we're starting to build a nuclear power plant. I can't wait to see who the first victim of the nuclear superpower Congo DR will be. All right, look at that we have cluster munitions now aren't these like banned by the united nations or something but guess what we have them now in fact we're gonna get an even bigger one soon now thermonuclear warhead that sounds pretty sick as well i don't know the difference between thermonuclear and nuclear a thermonuclear bomb can be hundreds or thousands of times more powerful than atomic bombs oh i've been going down the wrong research path then all right bye uganda yeah. <laughs> ah, look how wide Congo's becoming. Have we built our nuclear power plant? Yes, we have. Secret nuclear program. Bonk. We have so we have to have secret nuclear program and at least one warhead constructed. Oh, that's not that bad. Yeah, so I I selected all of this, but it's not making anything yet. I don't know how it needs to have at least one enrichment facility but where do i find enrichment facility it's not in the construction tab brother dude i have no idea where this enrichment facility is found i don't see it anywhere oh wait it's this oh i found it guys it's okay failed wait does that mean i have a enrichment facility oh my god i do oh wait is it do i do that and then it's not showing nuclear warheads in here but i don't know if it's supposed to can we complete the program we can that means we have a nuclear warhead. We have nukes! Oh. A day that would be forever remembered in history. September 25th, 2016. When the Democratic Republic of the Congo created the first nuke the continent of Africa had ever seen. The world now knew that the Congo was not a nation to be harassed like Belgium did many years ago. What other country in the next 10,000 mile radius will possibly kill me. You know, actually, I have a good idea while we get prepared. Let's go to war with Zambia. Zambia wasn't originally a target of the CKA or Congolese Kids Army. However, there was great use in the land it gave as it could be used to distract the forces of our future rival Angola. And I also figured we could dump some non-nuclear missiles on them to see if they were any good, which at this point I honestly doubted. Hey, look, the truck's finally fucking deployed. Good job. All right, there we go. Declare war. So now we just have to do 19. 85 ACBM. Think that button, right? And then you target. Let's target this one. Well, let's do 10. Fire! Look, he's deorged. It worked. He's deorged. How much kills? Zero. So one thing we learned is that uh, ICBMs with clusters are dog shit. High explosive, 900 kgs. Bro, three missed the target. Come on. Four in that state. Huge, huge targets right there. Okay, so one missed, but six hit. Total damage, five. See, I don't know what that means. Like, total damage, five. It seems like it hardly does anything. Like, it hardly even gets kills. So that's kind of a dog shit way to go about it. Seems like when it comes to people, it just, it doesn't work. The people kind of just punch them when it comes to their face. Imagine wasting millions of dollars on that. Like, come on. Well, then I will say, this is a lot of damage those things did. So, like, they're actually good for infrastructure damage, if you want to do that. Uh, Hey, look. Bye, Kenya. All right, I think it's time, guys. We have to justify because I'm bored. And I need a big event to happen. I need some kills. 
In the year 2019, the goal for the Congo was sadly looking bleak, my friend. We had killed no more than 400,000 at this point, and I had already sacrificed over 10 hours of time into the campaign. However, there was still one last option, the likes of which Africa's people had never seen. Angola's people would be the unlucky destination of this super weapon, the first to ever meet the surface of Africa. It is time. Complete! The nuclear program. All missiles can carry nukes. Yes. Look at that. Now we're a nuclear triad. Look at all these warheads I've created already. There's apparently already 10 of those. I don't remember making those. We're ready for this. In fact, we're going to send the nukes right away as well. No one ever told me about a strike limit, brother. Oh, use condition defensive war. There. I thought this would be a challenge, but look, we're just... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Will it show the nuclear explosion? I don't know. Oh! <laughs> Holy shit! That just fucked them. Oh, we're unstoppable now. No one's gonna stop us. Oh my god. That was disgusting. All right, we gotta do more damage now. Don't forget, we have less men than they do. Considerably less. Should I be a bully and nuke the capital for no reason? I want to now. Hold on. We're gonna nuke the capital. I wish it showed the explosion. I don't know why it isn't showing the explosions. Hey, okay, one bomb. No, that was... There it is. There it was! Oh, that's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Look at that. Insta clapped. I hope they're hiring Constellus units now. That's awesome. This game is so good. I love it now. That's the real definition of being a bond goad right there. You don't want to do this with me. You think you're going to win? Bye. This should be a crime. I mean, actually, it kind of is if you look at UN regulations, but... I've never felt so much power in my hands as I do right now. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, Angola. I feel bad for you. Now, look, I've literally decimated half their army size. 256k to 13k. So if we add those together, that's 270,000 dead. All right, kill them all. Uh, you won't need help with that. Hey, man. I'm sorry. Your time's probably up now. Did that hit? It did hit. I just didn't get an explosion rendered. Oh, yeah, I can tell. Look, uh, they all just disappeared all of a sudden. Exponential killing. So as it turns out, nukes are a very viable option for mass genocide. In this one little war, we took less than 400,000 casualties we had in the first 20 years of the campaign and brought it to over 800,000 in a short few months. There was finally some hope of completing this goddamn challenge. And thus, I had no hesitation to continue my genocide and devise an attack on Ethiopia. Oh, but first, let me quickly conquer Sudan. I'm just down here having a nice... Hot cocoa with my boys in the African continent. Oh, okay. That didn't take long. You just avoided Egypt's guarantee. And now you're going to get absolutely raffle stomped. I love fighting here in Sudan. Do you guys? Oh, shit. They're stopping us up here. Oh, my God. Holy shit. That needs to change. The supply in this land. It's something else. Ethiopia must think I'm some kind of joke. One div... No! Uh, declare war, call allies. We've been embargoed by- Oh, no. No! Kuwait! Oh, guys, I gotta sign off. It's GG. The amount of stuff I can buy is in the gutter. But look, my good friend Ben is still here with the support equipment. Ethiopia, putting up a stand against me. They're just gonna tell me no. Look at this. They're actually holding against me. It's kind of surprising. So we might have to resort to some malplay, as I said earlier, you know? <laughs> you see this Hawassa? I don't know if you're gonna see that very soon. You wanna attack like that? See what happens. See what happens. Why there? That makes no sense. Dude, it was literally attacking me and then we just fucking walked in. The nuke actually defeated the division. That's ridiculous. There's, that's thermo nukes right there. <laughs> uh, here we go. Now they're magically winning every battle too. We beat them up. All of a sudden, it like stops. Then they come at me. It's insta wins for them. I mean, just tell me how that makes sense. They're using the same divisions that Angola was. I went from steamrolling to now the matrix attacks. I lose every battle. Suddenly, this war had become quite a dangerous one. On one side, a uranium war chest that could rain nukes until the end of time. And on the other, a Millennium Dawn Matrix Country Club. The worst was yet to come. I mean, honestly, I think someone just wants to nuke at their fucking capital. You know what? I will nuke your fucking capital. I got ICBMs for days. You have gone too far. Addis Ababa, say goodbye. I hope it never sees the light of day again. Eat my socks, bub. Dude, I don't know how they can win. I'm really bombing them to hell and they just have auto AI cheat wins. Hey, look, they just push back to my border like it's nothing. It doesn't matter. Nuke them all you want. Plane bomb them all you want. Oh, we finally crashed because the Matrix attacks are too strong. 
This is the part of the video where the Millennium Dawn Matrix carries out its biggest super weapon. The Paradox Crash Report. Okay, hey guys, I think, I think it's the end, unfortunately. I've tried to open this like three times already. It keeps crashing in early April. It rigged the game so hard for Ethiopia that it not only crashed, but destroyed the save file. Unless, I don't know, we get a miracle this time and we make it past the month, but yeah, no. This catastrophic event marked the end of the universe. The genocide of 8 billion people. All right, before I go, actually, I want to I want to drop all 22 of those as thermonukes. I want to see what actual damage this will do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 